inventory labs split your shipments in between two fulfillment center what to do what should you do i'm going to show you right now there's a simple there's a super simple solution to fix that issue uh yeah i'm going to show you how to do it right now before we do we have a discord server go in the link in the description join it best place to ask any questions about how to do a lot of stuff on amazon if you have any questions on amazon best place to reach out to me ask questions network with other sellers best place to do it so let's start so let's dive into the computer um yeah so we have a product right there that was split in between three different fulfillment centers right so what should you do when that happen hope can you put everything together and how can you reassemble everything and send it all to the same fulfillment center now first thing you need to do is create all the shipments right so let's do this right now we are going to create those three shipments and you can do this up to a certain point so you cannot if you have 20 units in one shipment 20 units in another shipments you can, you are not going to be able to do this right so the thing is that most of the time it happens when you have let, like let's say 15 units of a, of a product 13 units of another product 17 of another products and like most of the time what they're going to do is they're going to split it in between two shipments but like you're going to have 15 units in one shipment and then one unit in another shipment i had that happening a lot and it's super easy to solve so what you're going to do after that so as you can see by the way make sure that you are using the private the private um the private workflow uh and that you have the box content turned on right you can see that if you like just check here if it's if, if it's written private it means that you are using the private workflow right so once you created all your shipments here's what you're going to need to do so let's say you want to send everything in denver right so this is not going to be an exact example because i had a super hard time finding a product that would split and this is the first one i found and i just put 20 but like let's say that it has like let's say it was actually showing one here uh, like let's say we had seven but we had one here in lft1 and one here in pyt pit2 right so what you can do is just go to the quantity right there on the right and then just edit it so let's say we have seven here we add one in lft1 and one in pit2 you would just edit that to nine and you would so let's just imagine that it was one right here you would put this to zero and yeah it will remove it from the shipment here we go so we have nine here we have zero here we have and same thing we're gonna delete this right there boom and that's pretty much it and then you can send everything to the same fulfillment center that's how you do it um it's a super easy trick it's super easy thing that you can do and make your life way easier when you prep shipments right so use this trick I had I don't know why this one is not like if I refresh the the page I'm pretty sure that it is going to if I go to enter box content yeah so we only have one box right now so you can edit this I think you can add up to um, five units or five percent let me double check I'm not sure I will be able to go yeah so between one and thirteen so it was at seven so seven plus five is thirteen so yeah you can edit it to a certain point but most of the time doing this is going to fix your problem um super easy thing to do create your shipments edit the quantity that's pretty much it you're going to be able 99 percent of the time you're going to be able to just put everything into one shipment instead of having two shipments and like losing money on shipping right so yeah i hope it was helpful join the discord like this video subscribe new video every day at 3 p.m a whole lot of other videos on amazon right there showing on the screen right now i'll see you tomorrow